Hello everyone, Alton here. Welcome back to Let's Play Spaz. Alright, let's go to this system. Let's check it out. Are we gonna be under attack? Is it still adjacent to the other system with um, the bounty hunters? Apparently my threat level went down with them. Probably because I blew so many of them up. I killed all of their ships. There. Time pressure, no. Reinforced by higher UTA strength. Screw it, I'm leaving this place alone. Let's just move on. I can already hear the zombies. Ah, oh, crap, we're in good. We're in good. Yeah. They like us. The UTA likes us in this system. Isn't that just fantastic? I think I need more range on those small turrets. Alright, this isn't achieving any damn thing. I need to get past that warp gate. So let's... that. Not waste time killing all the zombie things. Even though that is considerably not really a waste... Well, it's not a waste of time. It's fun, but not exactly a good way to make some progress. Alright. Now all these these are small, and this is a large, so if I put two on here, I'd have a lot more range on these small turrets. But well, that would really be somewhat of a waste, and my ship would be too slow as well. Really? Hydra. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. They're friendly with us, so we don't have to bribe them. We could just bribe the warp gate, and that's it. Don't I have a specialist that will make that easier? Uh. Yep. I do that. Oh, I don't care. Well, we got a base protecting us here, so easy money. Here we go. Don't you dare, that's my res. I stole it from you fair and square. Uh, no, I don't care. Um, bright warp guards, there we go. That wasn't too bad.
Yeah, it was the main advantage of having two um, those large cannons. Could go for the opposite setup, maybe. Those Mars drivers have got incredible range. But it's nice having a few of those small... Um, Let's get out of here. Get out. Oh man, the sun is back. Oh, it's been so hot, I couldn't bear to play in here, and now it's getting up to that temperature once again. Not good. Alright. Moving on. Save us. Right, let's see what we got here. Supply zone. We got some missions here. Take candy from a zombie. Stealth. I hate that. Um. No, let's just make us. Aren't we liked again by the UTA here? Oh, not enough. We got a star cruiser here, that's pretty decent. Bounty here. All right, two adjacent systems then. Shit, forty of them. Vent the crew. You have got to be fucking kidding me. <sighs> oh, man. Well, that sucked. Should have just bribed them. Goodness me, this takes a lot of time to kill. Here we go. Oh, get out, you fool. Oh, I'll need every scrap of res I can salvage from this mission.
Gotcha. Right, is there any good pockets of crew lying around? Doesn't look like it. Alright, anything else where I could get some crew, maybe? Not really, no. Right, moving on. Level 55 system. I should be able to make my way through this place relatively unscathed. Um, Uh-oh. Right. I still think my first setup might have been better than this. The short cannons don't actually, small cannons don't actually make get very far. Goodness, this thing is tough. There we go. Got a ton of crew too. Good. Thinking about maybe giving the Star Cruiser another go. Slightly different setup, maybe. Probably a very different setup, but um, I don't know. These small cannons, they're just not really doing it anymore. just don't have the range to do good damage. And maybe with a highly maneuverable star cruise I could do more better work than I guess. Maybe. I'll have to experiment a bit. I mean up close this thing is ridiculous. But it just doesn't quite have the maneuverability to pull it off. Especially if you got some res in your cargo hold, which is always... Okay, gotta get those crew pods. I guess the attack's not over yet. My goodness me. Here we go again.
Yeah, you know what? I'm actually gonna swap it out and just give that Star Cruiser a bit of a go. Ah, of course it is. Ah, shit. Crap. At least I got a level up. Yay. No, oh, at least I got a level out of it. That's good news, I guess. Uh, my rest supplies could be, be much better, but... Anyway. Let's get to it. Right, what can I give something here? Uh, I really want faster ships. Six points, I'll need another level. That's okay. I can, do, I can wait. Alright, hangers. Let's get... Let's change this up to the Star Cruiser. Um, um, I think I'll... This is large, these are huge. I'm not sure if this is more clever or the other way around. These will reflect on shields. So, cannon booster. I want some speed. I want to be practically invulnerable. And two cannon boosters. Let's see how this plays out. It'll take a while for it to get there, that's for sure. Yeah, a really good while. Maybe we should just swap out that thing. I mean, these are two medium ones and these are... Yeah, I think I'll switch it out for Colt again. It's twice as expensive and it dies just as often. Let's see the Colts. Let's see, the turn rate of this thing... Yeah, it's alright. It's got not the shields on this thing aren't as powerful. That's a shame. Could be a module thing too. No, I don't think so. Huge shield booster, huge engine booster, two medium cannons. This probably would have been a better ship if I had missiles. Now it's a bit like the grinder. Also, these armor plates. This should make it quite a bit lighter and quite a bit more maneuverable. Much more like a long wrist long range sniper type ship. Should also maybe make it a bit easier to stay alive. Alright. Alright, it's not a bad turn rate for a cap ship. Right. Let's have some fun with this. 
Yeah, level 46 blockade is not gonna really pose much of a threat anymore. Ah, oh, and having a tractor beam. Oh, that is good. Gotta be fucking kidding me. Yeah, not much of a threat here. But I gotta say, it's wonderful to have a ship with a tractor beam again. Oh my goodness, that was so terrible, <laughs> the other one. But yeah, I still think this is probably a better ship to do uh, base assaults with. We'll see. Let's check out the next system. It's also 46. Easy pickings. And remember, I do have limited hard drive space here. I should be alright for now. Let's see. What have we got? Gotta pick this one. Let's try it again. Might just take some getting used to. Easy. If I'm gonna switch to the hammerhead again, if I do that, I am bringing a tractor beam with me. <laughs> Beams. All right, I already made back all the goons I lost. All right, let's go to the next system. That would be this one. We don't have to fight, that's nice. Don't 
Torpedo rack. Club drones. Don't care. Which one do I want? I want the 67 one, which is Gamma Triangle. Alright. Nearly there. <laughs> right. Anything I can do here? Yeah. UTA is neutral with me. It's a level 70 warp gate. That is probably going to be totally defended with capital ships of all sorts and sizes. So, no. Well, there's a helix. Yeah, that's a capital ship. No doubt. to be expected. Right, let's not forget we just killed a sunspot, <laughs> and those are not easy to do, so let's pick up that data. We certainly earned it. ships left and right. Those things are expensive. Costly, but managed it. No. Still think the other ship was probably better at taking out other ships. Um, 
Yeah, no. Also, I'm gonna swap out these guys and give him a heavy armor at front because they're just uh, not too bad, actually. Right, I've been playing with this idea for a bit, so I'm actually gonna swap these out and put these back in. But only the outer ones. And I'm gonna put this in here as well. It's gonna make it a lot slower to pilot, but it will be... We'll have the range advantage again. Hmm... Try this setup again. Like this. And with that, I'll end the video again. Thank you very much for watching. Join me again next time as we take a look behind the warp gate. See you then.